I made a three panel table mirror. Checked. This is a mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be detaching the mirror from the frame. Now for this project, I'm going to be using two of these mirrors and one oval mirror that I had at home. This is a leftover wood that I've had for a while. Now I'm going to cut it to the measurements that I'll be needing for the project. I'll be using these cutout squares to glue the mirrors on top of them, including the oval mirror. I drew lines that are a few inches away from the mirror on both sides at the top. This is wood and it's so thin and it's got a curved line. So instead of using a handsaw for cutting, I'm going to be using a pair of scissors. I put two boards here because I'm going to be working with glue and I don't want the glue dripping on the floor. Here are some pictures that inspired me. These are the kind of hinges that they sell at Walmart and I decided to go for the bigger one. This is how the hinges are going to be attached to the wood using a hot glue gun and any 6000 glue. The hinges come to in a pack, but this is not going to be enough, so I got another pack. So I'm going to be gluing the hinges under the first set of hinges. The next thing I'll do is to glue on all the mirrors to all three boards. I'll be cutting my mirror mosaic tiles into singular strips and gluing them around the edges for all the mirrors. When I got here, I decided to just fill up the remaining space at the bottom. I thought I would leave the hinges the way they are with the golden color, but then I changed my mind at the last minute and decided to spray paint it silver. The open spaces you see around here are going to be covered with gems. I had to remove some pieces of the mirror mosaic tiles at the bottom and then covered up the spaces that are showing so much with gems. As I was doing this, I made sure that the gems were not obstructing the hinges. I got this place from the Dollar Tree and they come six in a pack and I'll be making use of just two plates. I'll be making use of just a silver plated area that reflects like a mirror. I'll be making a design with these cutouts on the mirror. Before I continue, I'm going to use two craft sticks and cover them with mirror reflective paper. gluing the top and bottom of these craft sticks just to make sure that the craft sticks and the mirror reflective paper stay together while used in the design. I made three of them and this is how I glued them to the mirrors. And then I continued to make the pattern with the cutout plates. Now 
At the top here in the middle, I'll glue this oval mirror that I had at home. This cutout piece is going to be glued to the oval mirror alone so that the panel by the side can still move. I repeated the same thing to the other side by gluing the cutout piece to the mirror alone. This is a Christmas ornament that I've had at home and I'll be separating the pieces to use them to add to the design. For a more floral look, I'll be using molded roses that I made and a full tutorial video for this will be in the description box below. I spray painted them silver and I'll be using some of the roses to add to the design. Here I'm adding more of the cutout plates to the design in the middle. I'm going to glue both the designs that's at the top and the one that I just added now together because they're both in the middle. This is also to make sure that the panels by the side can still move freely. I forgot to mention that apart from the middle, I also put the molded roses here and here. This is what it looks like when I let it stand. And now to avoid scratches, I'll be using wooden beads and spray painting them silver and gluing them at the bottom. After I was done with this, I turned it to the back, now this is what it looks like. And then I added a strong adhesive to the beads to make sure that they remain sturdy at the bottom. And this is how my three panel table mirror turned out. Now if you want something similar to this on a larger scale, there's a floor mirror that I made and the link to this video will be in the description box below. I hope you guys like this idea of a three panel table mirror. And remember to like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.